Hi and welcome back to Media Explores and today we're on a thousand subscriber special. Thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed so far. The channel is just growing all the time and there's loads more coming up. So this is Glenfield Tunnel, a mile long. When it was built it was the longest tunnel in the world and it housed one of the first steam railways in the world as well that also carried passengers later on but was mainly used for freight to move coal from Swannington and the, the coal fields around Coalville into Leicester. And it went straight through here, a mile underground, and came out the other end. So this is designed by George Stevenson himself, and the, the building was overlooked by Robert Stevenson. And that the first train that ever came through here was actually driven by George Stevenson himself as well. So there we go, look at that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you again for all the new subscribers. The channel is growing all the time.
So this is track bed leading towards Colville. And here we've got an access, uh, access bridge. And look at that. That's original brickwork around here. See original brickwork there. And it's just put a new concrete top on it. This is really old. Really old. We have that old vehicle access, I'd say, more than a, there's housing here now. Of course, there was no housing at this end of Leicester at all when this railway went in. That's well old. further and this is the stream which is very famous sorry for any wind noise suddenly the wind has got horrendous but this is this is the stream and this bridge goes oh this is in the original bridge have a look down there in a moment have a look but why this stream is famous is because when george stevenson brought the first ones through it's actually the chunk the the uh, chimney on the engine was too high so it buckled over and covered everybody in smoke and coal dust and everything else as they came through the tunnel. So all the dignitaries that were going to this party down at Bagath, I do believe, they stopped here and had a wash in the river. So they stopped the train here, had a wash in the river before setting off to go to their party. So this, I'd say, the top isn't the original bridge, but we can definitely see uh, bits of the original bridge down here like this. Absolutely lovely. So as you can see, some bits of the original bridge um, over here. That's nicer down here. I should talk down here, shouldn't I? So there you go. There's the original, original brickwork of the original bridge. Then basically, a bit of a balance act. So, there, look, you can see the stonework of the original bridge there. And they've just put a new top on at some point. And that looks, look at that. That's beautiful. A lovely old bridge. And I say, this is the river they came down here and had a wash in the river to get this soot and everything off their faces before they went any further on the railway to go to their party on the very first day the Glenfield Tunnel was used. That is amazing. A lovely old thing. So that was Glenfield Tunnel and a little bit of the line going past this lovely old bridge here as well. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Bit of a one-off. We may be going back there at some time to do some other filming. So watch this space. And I say this is a thousand subscriber special. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. I actually can't express it enough. I'm absolutely over the moon that we've reached that milestone. The channel continues to grow. We'll see new videos pretty much every week. And uh, I hope you continue to enjoy them. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Hi and welcome back to MIDI Explores and today we're in a thousand subscriber special. This is Glenfield Tunnel, the longest tunnel in the world when it was built back in 1730 something. I've come to detail and we'll start again.